What's going on guys? So we got some new 1.2 details and I personally will not be able to um, kind of do anything for a little while after the English live stream kind of starts and gets up and running. So I thought I would go ahead and uh, kind of like give some thoughts and kind of show you guys a little bit from the Korean stream because it aired a lot sooner than the English stream is going to. So uh, I, I kind of recorded a couple of things from the stream, just kind of some quick tidbits that we could kind of talk about. And then uh, we may take a deeper look into a couple of different things after uh, I kind of handle some stuff. But anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead and start this and let's uh, see what's going on here. So the first one, the first thing that I got, I think is going to show is just kind of like a, a landscape of the actual, the actual area that's going to unlock. So this is Dragon Spine? I can't remember. It's the ice area with the big mountain. I'm pretty sure it's called Dragon Spine. And it looks like it, like the lore kind of revolves around this sword. So you can see we have a new ice mage there or Sinsen or whatever they're called. Uh, some new Hillatrol looking things. We have some new, uh, it's, it's all happening too fast. I can't remember. This is Albedo. He is going to be a sword wielder who is a geo element honestly i'm not like very hyped about him ganyu though this is this is gonna be my new waifu i'm not even kidding i've been saving primos for this chick she looks so bad i cannot wait uh she's probably gonna play a lot like amber just kind of like previewing her kit and stuff like that but i don't even care how she plays i will i will definitely be uh oh my god i'll, I'll definitely definitely be looking forward to her so you can kind of see more of the landscape i think that this looks phenomenal like this looks amazing there are several different areas like there's a lot of questions to be had of course but you know all of that stuff will come in due time or you can see kind of like the the big hill troll yeah so there's a new catalyst weapon showing it off with sucrose there's Sinyan fighting against a Regisvine. Now, is it just me or does this look like way bigger? Do, do these guys look way bigger than the typical... Um, God, what are they called? The ruins. The ruin like hunters and the ruin, all that stuff. Do these not look like way bigger? I don't know. Maybe Albedo is just really short. It shows off uh, all of the cubes, which is interesting um a lot of the backgrounds almost looks like the uh the way that some of the higher level abyss stuff does but so you can kind of see it shows like a promotional thing for the ending so then here it kind of goes over a couple of different things which these are what i kind of want to wait for the english stream to talk about so that we can kind of figure out exactly what's going on here i don't know if these are supposed to be like it, it almost looks like they're looking at like events and weapons and all kinds of stuff but because i'm you know not Korean speaker. Uh, I, I can't really attest to what this all says. I'm sure that there's going to be translations up before the English stream, but until, you know, I can kind of get back and do some work on what these actually are, just kind of have some pretty pictures to look at. But uh, definitely looks cool. It looks like, you know, there's there was a, a new sword. Maybe. I don't know if that's just part of the story or if it's actually going to be a weapon. And then it looked like there was a new pole arm, a new catalyst weapon, um, and then a couple of different like event things. And it almost looked like that one like blue crystal form maybe was part of the story or something. So then here they're going to start talking about Albedo a little bit. Um, again, this is all in Korean, so it's not likely that I'll understand any of it. But we can kind of get some kind of information on what he looks like and how he kind of functions. I think a lot of his skills look interesting, but I'm not super excited for him. I'm kind of just, I don't know. He just seems like the typical, like, I'm a sword user. He has like that little platform that's kind of cool. Um, Yeah, see, all, I mean, all of his all of his skills just look pretty standard. And that basically looks like a, that basically his, his elemental bursts just pretty much look like a geo traveler kind of looking thing. I don't know. Um, not super excited about him, but I know a lot of people are. So we may actually do like a preliminary look at his kit. Definitely be interesting to see what ends up happening with him. He, he seems decently cool. 
Now here is the good stuff. So this is Ganyu's like little intro trailer, which again, like I said, dude, she's, she looks so good, dude. Yes. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. I'm being a degenerate, but I, I may full on simp for this chick. Like really. Her kit, from what I've seen, plays a lot like Amber, which is scary. And I know a lot of people are going to automatically assume that she's going to be just like the ice version of Amber. But we don't know. And we won't know until she finally gets released and we can kind of do some testing on her. But I really like the way that she is set up in terms of her. But uh, she does seem really interesting. Her kit is, like I said, similar to Amber's, but... Depending on how her scaling works, I'll kind of take a look and see. Uh, we may do like a preliminary video on like, is she going to be like just a five star version of Amber? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Now here you can actually see they're showing off some screenshots of the landscapes. Um, it almost looks like there are some different areas within the mountainous area what what i really like about this though is that like these two screenshots like screenshot two and three if you were to order them they look like they're inside of this giant mountain which is super super cool uh i don't know what any of this says but it looks it looks awesome here we have some more screenshots of them um looks like there's some puzzles of course there's some challenges here looks like there's some chests maybe hidden back there and all kinds of new stuff to explore i'm i'm honestly just excited to see something new because i'm tired of looking at leeway and monstat but you know that's that's just me here you can kind of see they're showing off the images of the new enemies so there is the ice version of the giant hill troll and then there is the ice Sensen? Is that what that is? I'm a, yes, it's an ice Sensen. It's a Fatui Cryo Sensen Mage. All right, that's what, it, that's what it's called. Don't at me, all right? Now, apparently, uh. these guys on the left are called Frostarm Lava Trolls. Lava Trolls, I don't know. Um, they seem really cool. Here we can see it shows off some more of the... Uh, these look actually like ice. They're called Cryo Samaturals. Um, they seem kind of cool. I don't think we've seen those at all. And uh, the, it's specifically this one on the left. This one in this kind of like in the center of this left image looks more like one of the Hydro ones maybe. But either way, um, having the ice one or the cryo one is kind of interesting. And then on the right there, you can actually see we do have the Ruin. Apparently these are called Ruin Graders and it looks like they may still be larger than the other ones, so that's kind of interesting. Um, looks like they pretty much have the same base resistances though, so it looks like 50% resistance to physical, and then everything else is 10%, just like the other uh, the other Ruin Hunters, so. And then they just kind of go over some more stuff. I've still got the stream up, but uh, currently actually looks like they are talking about weapons. So, oh, and some artifacts. Ooh, this is juicy, so. Let's see here. Um, so this actually looks like, I don't know if this is an event. It almost looks like floors like it would be in the abyss. That's actually pretty nice. Um, just kind of skim through here really quick. All right, so yeah, it does look like we have some new weapons. It looks like all of these are four star weapons, which is actually interesting. Um, until we get translations of all this stuff, I won't exactly know uh, what any of this means, but it's nice that we can kind of see what the pictures look like. Trying to verify um, on other websites if I can figure out what exactly they are, but it doesn't look like I have any information on them just yet, but as soon as we get information on that, that'll actually be kind of cool. Now, one of the things that I'm most excited for and what I think will separate Ganyu from Amber in general are these artifacts. So this is supposed to be a cryo-centric artifact set. It's supposed to boost cryo damage, which, I am super excited for. Um, I also think that that may actually help Kaya a lot. I don't know for certain if it will, but apparently um, these are called Glacier and Snowfield. Um, no, no. Ooh, I wonder if that means there's gonna be two new sets. So 
All right, so this top set is apparently called the Blizzard Strayer. Uh, at a two-piece, it's cryo damage bonus plus 15%. And at a four-piece, when a character attacks an enemy affected by cryo, their crit rate is increased by 20%. And if the enemy is frozen, the crit rate is increased by an additional 20%. So if the enemy is frozen, you're going to get a 40% increase in crit rate, which is insane. So think about like the possibilities of Kaya, Diona, and Ganyu getting like all that additional crit that's going to help dps builds out a ton because you're not going to have to invest in a crit rate artifact or crit rate weapon um of course they will help but just the bonus from the artifact set is going to make up for a lot of shortcomings in crit area where you know the cryo users may already have some issues now, this bottom set is apparently called Heart of Depth, which is a two-piece hydro damage bonus. And after using an elemental skill for the four-piece, after using an elemental skill, it increases normal attack and charge attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. So that's that's interesting. After using an elemental skill, increase normal and charge attack damage. Oh, dude, that sounds so straight up like child, like straight up just will love that. So by using his elemental skill, you're gonna switch to his um, his melee stance, and then you're just going to go to town doing extra damage. Uh, and then he's already going to have a hydro damage bonus. Uh, dude, that's, that's awesome. That is amazing. I love that. I love that set. That is super, super good. Um, so that increases your hydro characters quite a bit. So uh, I would say cryo and hydro are definitely going to get the treatment here, which is uh, pretty awesome. Let me see if they have anything else in here. Okay, and now it looks like they're kind of talking about events and stuff. So unfortunately, I'm running out of time for what I can do. Oh, it looks like the mystery box event. All right. Oh, but it looks like he's asking for a lot more stuff this time. Um, anyways, that seems to be all I can kind of fit into this video. I'm going to do a quick edit of this and try to get it up. Hopefully you guys are excited about 1.2. I will try and um, kind of watch the English stream as closely as I can. But like I said, I do have some personal things going on that I'll need to take care of. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll be back and we'll do some more. I, I'm I'm getting hyped, dude. What is this thing following following Aether around? I don't know. I. Hopefully you guys can tell me in the comments exactly what that is. Hopefully you guys can educate me on anything that was in Korean that I did, cannot understand. But until next time, see you guys.